Hey guys, Riccioli here. Today I'm gonna explain to you the solo section of The Heart of Everything by Within Temptation. I have my guitar tuned in a drop A tuning, which means a standard tuning with a drop A note. On the recordings we use this tuning but a half step down, so if you want to play along to the record, you know you have to detune your guitar a little bit. This solo makes use of a concept called arpeggios, or as they would say in Italy, arpeggio, or somewhere in America, arpeggio. If you're not that familiar with basic chords, like for instance an open D minor or A minor, E minor or major or whatever, or bar chords like this, then I suggest that you dive into that first before you check out this lesson. You can play chords harmonically, like in a strum, or in case of an arpeggio you can play that chord melodically, like this. This solo makes use of only three chords, which is D minor, A minor, and E dominant seven. The first thing that I play in the solo is based around two shapes. This shape, the D minor, uh, it's, it's basically the E minor shape, but moved up. And this shape. And this shape comes basically from your normal D minor chord, but an octave up. I'll play that first thing very slowly now and you uh, check if you can see those two shapes in the, in the thing that I play. So the first part is this. based around that shape. Then I move it up. And those three notes comes from that shape. And then back to the first shape again. Well, since I can be a pretty lazy sometimes, I play exactly the same thing for A minor, which is uh, a perfect fourth down or five steps down. So it goes like this. So it's based around this shape and that shape. The third chord that I play is an E dominant 7 chord and it looks like this. It comes from A dominant 7th but moved up the, the neck and the arpeggio that comes with it goes like this. The technique that I use for this solo is called sweep picking. Um, I'm not the best sweep picker in the world or in this country or maybe not even in this street. I have no idea. Um, it's a pretty difficult technique. There are two things that you have to be aware of and the first thing and maybe the most important thing is that uh, you make sure that the notes don't ring because you get something like this which... <laughs> sounds pretty nasty as you can tell so make sure that you lift up your fingers here and there so that only one note is sounding at the time another thing that you have to be aware of is that you don't pick your notes individually but that you let your pick drop when possible so that you let gravity do its job Same goes for the way up. You drag your pick across the strings as opposed to picking them individually. I will play this solo extremely slowly now uh, and I'll zoom in so that you can see my fingers. Thank you. 
I hope that you enjoyed this short lesson. If you did, press the like button and consider subscribing because there's much more to come. Um, for now, I want to wish you a very pleasant day, evening, night, whatever. Uh, enjoy practicing this. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.